going on good people of YouTube it is me Chavez back with another MLB player prop video for you today's Monday July 17th 2023 as always I hope this video finds you all doing well and in good spirits we're going to recap our plays from yesterday to kick things off and then we'll dive into the prize picks board but the prize picks board only the one play that I wanted to talk about on underdog got removed I'll show you what that play was but nonetheless we still have three plays to go over today so if all that sounds good to you i encourage you to stick around drop a like sub up and click that notification icon to get notified of all upcoming content and videos from me and the channel and without further delay let's get into those plays from yesterday all right a two in one day on the day yesterday so close well not really uh stanton had a really bad game yesterday but we were one play away from making it two consecutive days of um sweeps or perfect uh, perfect uh, picks there. So let's talk about the two plays that did work for us. We already know that Stanson did not come through on his basis prop. We went over on uh, both strikeout props for Christian Javier and Bobby Miller. Christian Javier ends the game with seven strikeouts. We talked about uh, the Angels' struggles versus uh, pitching in general, basically. They struggled versus Framber the day before. They struggled again yesterday versus, um, I don't want to say struggle. They put up runs, but still seven strikeouts for uh, Christian Javier is, is, is a lot, considering that we typically take the under on his prop. But we attacked the Angels once again, and it worked out for us. So that was a good, strong play. And then we took the over Bobby Miller, four and a half strikeouts versus the Mets. He finishes with exactly five strikeouts. That's all we needed. And and that, that sealed the deal. If you put those two plays into a two-pick power, then you cashed. If you put those two plays into a flex slip, then they definitely helped you cash. They definitely helped you profit. So I hope you were able to uh, benefit from that. We move on to a new day. We got three new plays to talk about over on prize picks. So without further delay, let's transition over to the board and start talking about these plays. Okay, here we are over on the prize picks dashboard. Uh, let me just show you really quickly the play that I wanted to talk about on underdog. And it was going to be Shohei Otani's total basis prop sitting at uh, 1.5. We also could have looked over his hits, runs, and RBI sitting at 2. All that got taken off the board. So instead, we look for it on underdog, or excuse me, we look for it on prize picks, and there it is. So this was not showing for me earlier today, which is why I defer to underdog. Then underdog took it off the board, and now it's on prize picks. It's got to be able to pivot with all this movement. So here are the three plays that, uh, well, two of these three plays we'll be talking about in today's video. Uh, one of these plays I'm on the fence about. I'll show you what I like about the play, what I don't like about the play. But uh, ultimately, I'm not sure if I want to move forward with that third play. So without further delay, let's get cracking. Let's talk about Lane Thomas. Uh, I want to talk about his hitter fantasy score over seven and a half. Let's head over to props.cash and we'll break this one down. All right, here we are over on props.cash. Remember, Four things certain in life, taxes, death, Prince could definitely dunk a basketball, and Lane Thomas versus left-handed pitching. It is a thing in 2023. Let's take a look. First, I want to show you what he's done over his last 10, uh, 10 games in general. This game is being played at Wrigley Field, in Wrigley Field. So over his last 10 games, he has gone over his hits, runs, and RBIs line eight out of those 10 games. Within those 10 games, he's given us a total of three, four, five, six RBIs. He scored three, four, five runs and no home runs to show in those games. Stolen bases, one stolen base, those count for five over on prize picks. Now, going back to his hits, you can't really accumulate a ton of fantasy scores if you're not getting on base. Lane Thomas has done a great job getting on base over his last 10 games. Uh, racking up basically averaging one hit per game in those 10 games but in total two four six eight nine ten eleven twelve hits in those 10 games his numbers versus drew smiley on the season or excuse me in his career nine plate appearances 444 batting average one homer one rbi two singles and one double thomas versus left-handed pitching 361 batting average seven homers 
nine doubles, one triple, 26 singles. His numbers versus right-handed pitching is, they're really good as well. But that average, he's hitting for a higher average. He's just crushing left-handed pitching this season. Drew Smiley, on the other hand, versus right-handed batters, not giving up a ton of average. So he's doing a great job of suppressing batting average. But take a look at the power numbers. 14 homers, 16 doubles, 40 singles. So 30 extra base hits allowed to right-handed batters like Lane Thomas. A lot to like here. I like the over seven and a half hitter fantasy score for uh, Lane Thomas. I will continue to attack these lefty righty matchups um, whenever we get the chance to do so. So play number one, put it on the board, seven and a half fantasy score for Lane Thomas. We're going over. All right, prop number two over on prize pick. Let's talk about Shohei Otani's total basis prop. I like the over on this one. Let's head over to props.cash and break it down. All right, so Shohei Itani over his last 10 games, we're looking at total bases. So let's look at these 10 games. He's given us a total of four, eight, that's 12, 13, 14, 15, 19, 23 bases in those games. Now in terms of hits, what does that look like? Looks like this. A lot of hits going on in those games. Let me show you his home numbers because as good as his numbers overall are, his numbers at home are just really good. So over his last 10 home games, averaging one hit in each game. Look how many, this is, I had to like refresh the screen the first time I saw this, uh, saw this graph uh, just to make sure that it was on home runs. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight home runs in the last 10 home games, RBIs nine RBIs in the last 10 home games. He's doing it all. We need two bases from him today. So that's a double, that can be a home run, that can be two singles. Um, he's getting it done. He's just getting it done at home. He's getting it done on the road. He's doing a lot of good things. Today he faces Luis Severino, who he has five plate, peer, plate appearances against. Not a huge average, one homer and uh, one RBI. So his one hit versus Severino has been for a, a home run. Now, Otani versus right-handed pitching on the year. Batting 300, 25 homers. All his power, all his extra base hits are coming versus right-handed pitching. And then we got to take a look at Severino versus left-handed uh, batters, allowing a 302 batting average with five homers, six doubles, and 18 singles. So a lot of good things going on right here. We got Otani at home who just, he excels at home. He's facing a pitcher who gives up a lot of production to left-handed batters and Otani on the year versus right-handed uh, right pitchers. All his power is coming from facing those guys. So give me the over 1.5 total bases for Shohei Otani as our second prop of the day all right so the third prop i wanted to just bring to your attention is this matt manning strikeout prop sitting at four got bumped from three and a half to four now at three and a half i would have definitely played the over had i caught it in time but now it's sitting at four here are some pros uh number one he's facing the kansas city royals who strike out a ton on the year and they're just not that good of a team so he's he's got a weaker opponent um so four seems like a very attainable number. But here's the con. He's only gone over this number one time over his last handful of starts, and he's pushed quite a few times. Let me just show you what it looks like over on props.cash, and then I'll let you decide how you wanted to play Matt Manning or if you just want to leave this prop alone. All right, so here we are over on props.cash now. 3.5 was the original line. You can see that he's gone over that four out of his last five starts. But when we bump this up to four, he has three pushes, one over and then one under. Now, if we switch it over to away, since this game is being played in Kansas City, same thing. Let's adjust this line to show you three and a half, gone over three out of the last four away games, but pushed at four in all the other games. So there's my dilemma is this number feels so low versus a Kansas City team that is striking out at, uh, at the fifth highest rate in the MLBs versus in the MLB versus right-handed pitching. But his game logs don't really give us a lot to work with here because, you know, a push is not terrible, but I feel like that's that's a ceiling. So if you feel like Matt Manning's in a position to fan five, six batters, 
uh, then go ahead and take the over on this one. But if you're not confident, then I would just 100% leave it alone. There are other pitcher props you can play in place of this one. But that's one that stood out to me. I'm personally still thinking about it. I'm not sure how I want to roll with this. If I do play it, it'll definitely be in a flex. I am not putting this in a power play. But I just wanted to show you that uh, that prop because, again, it's one that that could yield some positive results. So two player props on the board. Third one, my third one, I'm undecided, but that is going to do it for today's player prop video. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for stopping by the channel, checking this video out. Do drop a comment below. Let me know what you like on a board as well as your thoughts on these plays. Uh, as always, thank you so much for stopping by and just supporting the channel and helping it grow every single day. Best of luck to you all should you tell any of these plays. And until tomorrow's MLB player prop video, Chavez is out.